Today I'm going to talk for just a moment about anger and the type of anger that you're investing in. Now all of us get angry at some time, but I want your anger to be to be a worthwhile thing. I don't want it just to be over trivial things. I remember I got angry one time at a government agency because of the way they were treating uh, someone that was less fortunate. And I went with her and I got a little bit too angry, to be honest with you. We have to watch what we're investing our anger in. You know, sometimes anger is appropriate. Even Jesus became angry when he saw and confronted the money changers in the temple. On occasion, you, like Jesus, will confront things that are very wrong. And when you do, you may respond vigorously and without reservation. But more often than not, your anger will be more of a mundane a variety, a habit type of variety, in response to the various frustrations of everyday living. Now, Ben Franklin once said this, anger is never without a reason, but seldom a good one. In your course of your life, you will face countless opportunities to lose your anger over mostly small relatively insignificant events. Here's an example, a traffic jam. Another example, spilled cup of coffee. I saw somebody lose it over a spilled cup of coffee one time so much that I thought they were going to give themselves a heart attack and probably have since then over some other trivial thing. How about an inconsiderate comment or a broken promise. Well, we all face those in daily life. When you're tempted to lose your anger over all these things, take a step back, turn away from anger, turn away from hatred, bitterness, and regret. When you do, you win. Turn instead to God. God bless you, and I pray that you have an anger-free day.